Hello and welcome to the Price Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video is introducing Empress Matilda. Empress Matilda, or Maud, as she is sometimes referred to, was the daughter of King Henry I and Matilda of Scotland. She was born around the 7th of February 1102 at the Royal Palace of Sutton Courtney in Oxfordshire. Her grandparents were William the Conqueror and his wife Matilda of Flanders and King Malcolm III and his wife Saint Margaret. She had one sibling, a brother, William known as the Atheling. Prince William died in the White Ship disaster. This meant that Matilda was the sole legitimate child of King Henry I. In April 1100, the eight-year-old Matilda was betrothed to and later married to Henry V of the Holy Roman Empire and she married him in 1117. Henry died of cancer in May 1125 and the 23-year-old Matilda had to marry again her father married her off, this time to Geoffrey Plantagenet, the Count of Anjou. Matilda was nominated by her father as the heir to the throne of England, but in 1135 Stephen, her cousin, claimed that his uncle had changed his mind on his deathbed, recognising Stephen instead as a successor to the throne. The powerful English barons backed this claim. Stephen did not have the ruthless temperament required to control the ensuing turmoil as civil war broke out when his dispute with Matilda became common knowledge. This period of civil war became known as the Anarchy and lasted for 19 years. Stephen was more popular than Matilda as she was viewed by most people as a foreigner and a woman who had married to one of the hated Angevin enemies. Matilda was also found to have an unfortunate personality, according to some. She was proud, overbearing, and arranged everything as she saw fit, according to her own whim. Trouble started in 1141 when the Battle of Lincoln took place between Stephen and Matilda's half-brother, Robert, the Earl of Gloucester. After fighting bravely, Stephen was overcome and captured. He was taken before Matilda, who imprisoned him in Bristol Castle. He was later released. Matilda did not get the crown as she had hoped, not because she lacked courage, but more due to being arrogant and unpopular. In 1142, Matilda was held in Oxford Castle, but she managed to escape being lowered down from the castle on ropes during extremely bad weather. It was thick snow and bitterly cold, but she managed to reach the town of Wallingford during the night. Henry, Matilda's son by the Count of Anjou, the lawful heir and claimant to the English throne, then came to England with a small force, but was unfortunately defeated by Stephen's men and Henry's followers deserted him. In 1153, Stephen agreed to the Treaty of Westminster with Matilda's son, Henry of Anjou. This stated that Stephen should remain king for life, which was only going to be for less than one year, and then Henry would succeed him. Upon Stephen's death in 1154, aged 57, Henry was crowned King Henry II, the first of the Plantagenet line of kings. Matilda triumphed in the end. She lived in Normandy, governing the duchy, and died on the 10th of September, 1167, aged 65. Her tomb reads, Here lies Henry's daughter, mother, wife, great in all three, her son, the glory of her life. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to like it and subscribe, or follow me at Twitter at LittleMissHistory81 at TanyaAlex38, or check out the new Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash TanyaAlex38.